back in Portland, Maine with my friends Jenner and Seth. We're here at Susan's Fish and Chips. I've been told that this is a great local spot. This is in an old auto repair shop. So got some local flair there. We're not on the beach, but I have a feeling there's some fresh and fried seafood inside. Um, some combo plates awaiting us. And um, you know how it goes. We'll just take it from there. Well, we love it. It's one of our favorite spots. It's definitely a hidden gem because it's a great fish and chips place, but it's nowhere near the water. So you get really good, cheap stuff. It's a local spot. It's it's wonderful. I grew up on, on Cape Cod, and I, I know my way around so fish and chips, uh, fried clams, uh, and some clam chowder. And uh, I, I strongly endorse this establishment. So it's just, you know, uh, Good food on inexpensive and then unpretentious setting. I'd ask my friends to come and see. So I oftentimes get the haddock burger, which is a fried fish sandwich, and it's very good. It's a great deal. And then Seth usually gets the combo plate, which is a lot of food. I do, and it is. One thing I'm noticing is behind a lot of the net, the sort of like, you know, faux, like, maybe it's not faux, but behind the, like, fishing net that's plastered onto the walls, there's a lot of um, framed um, certificates of this place winning, like an advocate reader's poll for many, many, many years. I see 2000, 2002, so that's 2001. They just keep going in the 90s, so people like it. Um, one thing I did notice up front that we weren't able to get filmed was one of the one woman here by a dumpster um, smoking a cigarette. It happens that as we came in, we soon realized that that woman actually is an employee here, and she uses her hands to um, need some dough that's back there and I noticed that she was using her actual hands. We just decided to assume that she washed her hands before she went from her smoking break to here. Plus I ordered a haddock sandwich so I'm hoping that it didn't have anything to do with anything that needed to be needed by her. Um, I think that she was actually dipping fish into batter but I think your fish was probably already dipped ahead of time. What'd you get, Jenner? I got the haddock burger. It's looking really good today. Okay, there's french fries. It comes with lettuce and um, the tartar sauce right on it. Seth, what'd you get? Fried clams and scallop combo. Come with french fries and uh, some coleslaw. Scallops look delicious. The clams look delicious. Got the haddock burger too. Underneath, as you can see, we chose to get it with tartar sauce and a little bit of lettuce. These hopefully were not the buns needed by that one. And then, to share, we got a large um, clam chowder. So let me just take a bite. We got a clam. Right on the spoon. Well, first thoughts are, remember how I just blew on it? You don't need to do that. It's lukewarm. That's not a good sign. Filling, creamy, thick, medium. So my haddock burger is really good. It's nice and um, crispy. It's been fried really, really well. And I might add some more tartar sauce, but that's really because I love sauce. Well, I just caught myself doing a little stationary happy food dance. development in the clam chowder is that if you did mix it up a little bit and scoop some of the deeper chowder to the top, it got a little bit more. And I keep going back for more. I like the big chunks of things, nice chunks of potatoes. Whoopsie. In terms of my sandwich, I actually couldn't be happier. I put a little bit of extra tartar sauce, tartar sauce on, which they put extra on the table in this little mini mason jar, a little mini jar, which I really like, sort of just the feel of that. We would sing and dance around because we know it was probably the best.
product sandwich I've ever had here. It was, sometimes it's not as crispy as it was today. It was great. I'm very, very happy. I'm a happy camper. My final score is going to be a three out of five um, scallops, fried scallops. If we were gonna judge this on on fried fish shacks alone, it would be a five out of five. But you know, I'm trying to can take into consideration all the many restaurants that are out there. So three out of five fried scallops. And I'm gonna go with uh, my my score for Susan's uh, fish and chips is gonna be four out of five clam fritters. The only reason why it's not getting a five is because I want to be able to take it up uh, a notch if I need to for a, a later uh, Boston Eats segment. But uh, let's just say, strong, strong endorsement for, from this uh, somewhat salty fish enthusiast. My final score is going to be 3.5 out of 5 carburetors. What lost the place some points was the smoking corner over here. You know, I feel like, take your smoke break, that's fine, but do you have to do it at the front door? And then with your aprons on, with your hands. Can you smoke another way? The food was good. I thought my haddock sandwich was awesome, crispy. Um, the fish seemed really fresh. The service was quick. The food came very fast. This place was not overrun with tourists, which I also like. Being a tourist myself here for the weekend, I like to feel local, you know? So three out of five carburetors for Susan's fish and chips.